video with this pala with paints exploded my social media. It has received over 8 million views on Instagram and more than 11 million on TikTok. So let's do it together today. We will need printed pattern. It includes three designs. We will use the reverse pattern of the paint palette. Link to the pattern in the description under the video. Prepared hoop with fabric. The fabric must be stretched very tightly. I use rough fabric. The punch needle. The needle threader. Scissors. Pencil, tape or magnets. Felt for backing. Glue gun. Yarn of the required colors. Cut out the pattern. Place the pattern under the fabric. Place one magnet under the pattern and the second on top of the fabric. Fix the pattern with one more pair of magnets. Carefully redraw the pattern onto the fabric. Remove magnets and pattern. I will make an outline with black yarn. Insert the needle threader into the eye of the needle and then into the shaft. It should come out in the center of the punch needle. Insert the yarn into the loop of the needle threader and gently pull the other end until the yarn passes through the eye of the needle. Start embroidering the outline. The needle should enter the fabric strictly vertically and point in the direction of movement. Make small stitches, roughly equal to the thickness of your thread and do not lift the needle high from the fabric. Embroider a small section without cutting the thread. You can first go in one direction, making the stitches twice as long, and then turn around and embroider in the opposite direction, inserting the needle in the center of the previous stitches. So this line will not be thicker than the others, and you will not have to cut the thread. When the line ends, hold the last stitch with your finger and pull out the needle, trim the yarn. Continue embroidering the remaining outlines. Let's paint our picture. I will use beige color for the brush handle. First, duplicate the outline and then fill the space inside. Try to make rows close to each other. The fabric is not visible behind the embroidery. This is what it will look like from the front. Embroider the next part of the brush with yellow yarn. Also color one of the circles yellow. Paint all the details in the same way with the colors you like.
Fill the palette with white. Start as always with the outline and then fill in inside. Trim the yarn. Now we need to untangle all the knotted loops so that the work looks beautiful and neat. Remove the work from the hoop. You can use a needle, scissors or tweezers to untangle the loops. If there are a elongated loop somewhere, just cut them off. Now it looks pretty good. Trim the excess fabric, leaving one centimeter around the embroidery. Make cuts on the fabric around the entire permata. Pay special attention to all defuckle areas. the edges of the fabric inside the embroidery with a glue gun. Apply glue to the entire surface of your work. Leaving unglued around the edges, glue the embroidery to the felt. Cut off the excess felt. Carefully apply glue to the edges of the felt and glue it to the embroidery. Your paint palette is ready. You can make other designs from my pattern in the same way. Thank you for watching.